What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Let's Review It with Mike. So tonight we're going to review The Shit We Do For Love, episode 5. So we're just going to jump right on in. I'm not going to hold you long. It's, it's, it was a cute episode, so I'm just going to jump right in. So the episode starts with D'Angelo, starts with Damien, and Rara. They all meet up and sit down and talk about what they've been up to, their love life, and then they jump into the fiasco at the party, and then how Rara kicked Timmy out the party, but he didn't realize that he did it um, in the heat of the moment. You know, they're just catching up talking about the party. Um, also how Rara, you know, he's so in love and he's happy and D'Angelo is, as well is in love and happy and how they should hang out more and do more things. And then they went into D'Angelo inviting them to brunch. So fast forwarding, they go to brunch. No, Noel comes to the brunch as well. And they're at the table. Timmy's at the table. All the guys are at the table except for Travis. Travis didn't make it. So they're at the brunch and they're all talking about Travis. They're talking about how Travis rents a boyfriend, which everyone thinks that Timmy started that rumor that Travis is renting his boyfriend and just a whole bunch of mess with Travis. So Noel's sitting at the table gagging and afraid to meet, I wouldn't say afraid to meet him, but nervous to meet Travis because of all that he's hearing through these girls who don't know him, but talking about Travis at their first meeting. I get that part. But he's sitting there just collecting all the information, gagging, and later on find out why he's doing all that. So they're talking, they're conversing, and they're trying to figure out why Timmy isn't eating. So all the girls are assuming that he has a date lined up after the, the brunch of their egg, because that's kind of weird. You're at brunch, but you're not eating. Or you want some bread and some water, like you in jail or something like that. But if the girl has a date, the girl has a date. I get it. Cleaning out is not easy, but we do it. So they talk and talk and talk, and Noel invites them to his dog's birthday, which he was having a birthday party for his dog in the park. Kind of weird, but some people treat their pets like kids, whatever. So they fast forward to the party at the dog park. So everyone shows up. Noel was bubbly, cheery, as he always is, which I find cool, you know, personality, upbeat spirit, got it. So Travis comes in and, you know, Travis came in with a positive attitude, positive vibe, typical Travis. So Noel goes, you know, introduce himself and then he goes something about, can I ask you a question along the line of, are you running your boyfriend? Setting the tone for destruction. Because why would you first meet someone and the first thing to come out your mouth is, can I ask you a question? Are you renting your boyfriend? Like, bitch, you don't know me. You're going off what you heard at the table. So back at the table, he was gathering all this information to use against Travis later on because I guess he wants to jump on the bandwagon with the girls who aren't using Travis instead of getting to know him for himself. Which I don't see them getting along because their personalities are so big. Whatever. So Travis goes, well, I must be really rich. I must have a lot of money to rent my boyfriend. Now, we all seen him and his boyfriend together, and we know that they don't have the chemistry. But, you know, some people don't have the chemistry. Maybe it's just on camera that they don't have it. Maybe off the camera, it's, you know, blooming. Whatever. Who am I to judge? So Noel goes off and off and off and just start going in on Travis on everything that he heard. And I was watching it looking like, how and why do you feel that you can come at someone you just met who came to your event for the first time to meet you and you throwing everything in their face that you heard about them at this brunch and you don't even know them. So that came off as messy on Noel's part and I, I just didn't really, really like that and set a tone for me and him because I'm like, mm, if he can do that, he, you know, he doesn't know a person, what would he do if he's drunk or, you know, in a different mind state. So that set a bad tone. So they arguing at the dog park. I don't even think the dog's party. It was basically the the, uh, the humans acting the fool at this dog's part, party. So I kind of felt bad for Travis, but Travis held his own. He kept his composure. He didn't go off on Noel like he could have, which he didn't have information at that time on Noel to go off at him about because he didn't know him. This was their first time meeting. So it was kind of like, you know, effed up. Um, so Noel, you lost points for that. You, sh you definitely should have not done that. You should have gotten to know Travis for him, for yourself, and see who he was, and see if what they were saying was true. Because you don't know, you didn't know anybody. So basically, that's all the episode was. Um, basically, just the dog park and Noel coming at Travis sideways, and just trying to create a moment, create a scene, which he did. You got to give it to him. So we'll see how the rest unfolds. Um, 
best episode so far. Episode five, best episode so far. And even though I don't like it, I do give it to Noel for creating this episode because it was him who created this episode to make it what it was. So I'm not gonna hold you guys anymore. That's just the gif of the of the episode. So I will see you guys next week for episode six. Also, stay tuned because I have an exclusive interview with D'Angelo from the cast of The Shit We Do For Love coming very soon. So if you guys can like, subscribe, comment down below, somewhere down there, it's down there, just click it. Y'all know how to do it. Y'all use YouTube. And I will see you guys next week.